What's up everybody? Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jason Wallace. I've been with my friend Brian in Southeast, East, Southeast Alaska and we've been commercial fishing for salmon. Tonight I want to show you a recipe that we've repeated over and over again because it's so so good. But when we're out on this boat, we've been basically living on this boat for a month and a half, two months. And sometimes we fish till kind of late. We need to get in the bed because we get up really early. So everything that I've been cooking, we try to keep it quick and simple. And But I still want it to be really good. So we started doing this and it was really good. So we've been repeating it over and over again. Kind of just changing some of the flavors. But it'll still be in the same recipe. So we're going to cook a piece of, piece of sockeye with a honey ginger soy uh, glaze over a bed of rice. And I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is because I cook with very limited uh, appliances and cookware and supplies. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we get the rice started because it takes longer to cook than the fish. And I bake my rice in the oven here because, well, it's, it's perfect every time, but I don't have anything in this kitchen, so to speak, that seals up like you would cook rice on the stove with a pot and a lid and I can't regulate the temperature down low enough to really do it so I do it in the oven starting with hot boil, hot or close to hot boiling water it works out perfect every time so I'm going to show you how to do that so we have a 9 by 9 pan that I've wrapped in foil the reason why I did this is because the non-stick surface on this pan is giving up the ghost and the other day we cooked a Dutch baby and found Teflon flakes in the bottom of it, so that was not any good. So we got the pan, we got one cup of medium grain white rice. I'm going to season it here with about a teaspoon of salt. A little bit of black pepper. All right, we got a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, dried parsley flakes, and oregano. And that's all we're adding to this rice. Next, we're going to add two cups of boiling water, or in my case, nearly boiling water because I just took it off the burner. One. Two. Give that a quick stir. Now we're going to cover it up. And for you guys, I'm going to put it in a 350 degree oven. In my case, I'm going to put it in a medium oven. Set on three whatever that means. Set a timer for 25 minutes for the rice. When it comes out, we're gonna let it sit covered for five. While we're doing this, or while we're waiting on the rice to cook, I should say, we're gonna work on the glaze for the salmon. All right, I got about a quarter cup of honey in this bowl. I'm gonna add to that. Two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. Some ginger powder, ground ginger. Probably about a teaspoon. Crushed red pepper flakes. about 
a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now let's mix this up. It takes a minute for the honey to incorporate with the soy. You can feel it when you stir it. It's a little thick, but eventually it will come together. Now while we're waiting on the rice to cook, we're going to season the fish and get it ready to go in the oven as soon as the rice finishes. Salt. Black pepper. Garlic powder. And just enough left. Now we're going to take our, our glaze, pour a little bit over the fish. If you have a basting brush, you can use a basting brush. I don't have a basting brush, so I'm using a spoon. All right, that'll be ready to go in as soon as the rice finishes. All right, let's get this rice out of the oven and get the salmon in. over here to rest for five minutes now I have rebasted this salmon while we were waiting on the rice to cook so to kind of keep the top wet and then a little marinate a little longer this cooks pretty quick so keep an eye on it Remember, let that sit there five minutes covered. By the time that's done resting, the salmon will be pretty close to finished. All right, five minutes is up. Let's check on this fish. It's really dark. I know you probably can't see anything I'm doing here. Not quite there, it's close. It's 110. go a few more minutes while that's cooking we'll finish we'll pull the rice out get it on a plate all right while the salmon finishes we'll get everything else ready you can see this rice is pretty, pretty close to perfect so we're going to start plating up plate now what we're cooking here could obviously serve more than two people me and Brian are pretty heavy eaters this is enough rice for at least four people and honestly the fish probably is too so the portion sizes you're about to see here are going to be a little unrealistic for most people I would say that's some pretty fluffy rice. All right, the salmon's done. I pulled the salmon out at about 120, 20, 125 internal temperature. You know, the range is 120 to 130. If you go much beyond that, it's gonna start drying out. And this is it. We'll get this cut up into portions. Once it's on the plate, we'll actually pour the rest of this marinade. It thickens a little bit once you cook and it'll Reglaze the fish and all that flavor is not lost. So let's get started plating.
this piece of fish is already skinned, so I hold the cooking pan, the cooking pan that it's on. If you have skin on salmon, you can leave the skin on, and it'll peel right off the fish once it's cooked. Little pro tip of the day for you there. And we're just going to pour the rest of this goodness right on top. Don't be afraid to get a little bit in the rice. It's just more flavor for the rice. All right, we're gonna sit down and eat this meal. Let me tell you what, it is hot in here. There's the stove. Where I'm sitting is actually where I sleep, so it could be a, it could be a long night. Y'all try this out, this is super simple. If I can make this on a boat, you can certainly do this at home and it turn out just as good. So we're gonna sit down and enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Isn't it just beautiful here? That's going to do it for me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I kept it short enough. Try to keep it a little quick and to the point. If you're liking these videos, subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to hit that like button and tell a friend. Got a little bit more to show you guys coming up. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. What's up everybody? Welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Jason Wallace. I've been ah, camera's falling.